I'm supposed to fight Fedor Milaneko in a couple of Saturdays from now. If anything happened and Fedor was out, they were going to put Czech Congo in, in my opinion. I don't know who the hell they'll put in. I don't know who they'll put in. I'm just looking at the card and going, oh, there's a heavyweight that people know. It's probably going to be Czech. They don't even need to call me. My phone doesn't need to ring. Nothing in my life is changing. Fights in New York, three fives, heavyweight. What's the difference? I know there's an answer to that question. To some of you, that sounded like a really dumb question. I've never been accused of being a really dumb guy, and I mean it very sincerely. What in the hell's the difference? I have a contract, an elected contract, a contract I'm thrilled to have, honored to have, and at one point in my life, I begged to have. Why would I stop that train? I don't give a goddamn about who walks out the other side. I never one, oh, I never one time in my life laid in bed at night, dreamed of being a professional fighter, and thought about a wimp walking out of the other side. I lay in bed at night thinking about getting in the ring with Mike Tyson. I lay in the bed at night thinking about jumping in there with Sugar Ray Leonard. When I was a little kid. I never once laid in bed. Think about making that walk and all the lights and the smoke and the fanfare and some wuss walking out the other side. Never. I don't know anybody that does that. I have friends that wanted to be in the NFL. Want to be football players. They dreamed about the NFL. They never dreamed about a game at our local middle school in seventh grade. It's what dreams are made of. Do any of you ever close your eyes and think about being in a competition, but the the, the person you're taking on it sucks? No. Apparently for some guy, well, you got to have a negotiation and let me get my manager on the phone and yeah, let me get some videotape and get this out and look. At, that, that sounds like a no to me. It sounds like a no, and there used to be a good old day when the promoter could say, hey, that's a no, and I'm calling somebody else. Now, when you get so spread out, when there's so many opportunities and and, and it's moving so fast, you've got to accommodate some of these sissies when you're in the tough guy business. It's enough to drive a man crazy. I don't even have to do it. I just have to see it happen and come vent to you guys about it, and it drives me crazy, and I want you guys there with me. I want you guys pissed off about this with me. 